Welcome to Whole Being Health, Function, Vitality and Mastery. So continuing on with our lecture series, and now I'm just going to start discuss a topic which I think is quite important for a lot of people. A lot of my clients like me talking about this subject to them because it helps them to improve their awareness of this subject. Being your authentic self. Now, this is quite similar to some of the things we've spoken about before, but again, certain ways that you put certain things, certain phrases that you understand change the perception in your mind of a specific topic matter. So sometimes hearing it in different ways just helps people. But when I talk about being your authentic self, it relates back to what we spoke about in one of my other videos about personal power. Being your authentic self means that you speak your truth and now this relates back to our fifth chakra. So the fifth chakra here is communication. And remember, communication is empowering you. So sometimes we are what we call prostituting ourselves. Now, when you think of the word prostitute, it's not only related to the typical subject matter that people think in their mind. Prostitution, it can also be you selling your morals or your, or your values for a specific situation, workplace, or a relationship or friendship. And when you do that, sometimes you hold your tongue. There are certain things that you want to say in that relationship that you know you're not really comfortable being in, but it's the best situation at that point in time in your life. So you don't express yourself. And because you don't express yourself, you depower yourself, you are disempowered. Because you're not being, you are not being your authentic self. So, being your authentic self is basically speaking your truth. Now, some people don't like to hear this truth and you are aware of this, which is why you don't speak it because you know it will hurt that person. But you have to ask yourself, if I speak that truth, I empower myself and I'm teaching that person a lesson whether they want to hear it or not is their choice, but I am honoring myself. And sometimes when you speak that truth, such as, a, a woman may be in a relationship with a man that she shouldn't be in and her friends know that she shouldn't be dating a man and one day she comes in and says, oh, we're getting married! And then the girls kind of look at themselves, the girlfriends, they look at themselves and they think, someone needs to speak to this woman. But they all hold their tongue because they don't want to make her unhappy. But in not speaking their truth and being authentic, what happens is down the line, six months later, that woman may get a divorce and may she, or she may complain that the relationship isn't working out, he's such a bad guy. And then they think, okay, I'm gonna tell her. And then the girls tell her, and then the girl that was getting married says, why didn't you tell me before? I wish you had told me, I would have had to have gone through this. I would rather the pain of the early separation than the pain of the late separation. So just in that one instant, what you realize there is you're actually increasing that person's pain because you're not speaking your truth. So when you speak your truth, you empower yourself because everything you think and want to say, you are always being and saying. So that means you are fully present and being authentic at all times. And by being authentic at all times, you are empowered. And when you are empowered, you can create whatever you want in your life because everything you choose to do are things that you want to do and symbolize your characteristics and allow you to live and embody the process at which you think you should be expressing all day, every day. Now, I know it's a lot to kind of put your head around, but my point here is, we have to stop lying to ourselves and keeping certain truth within us. When we speak our truth, we have to weigh up what does that truth mean in this situation? Am I in a relationship that I don't like or I only like specific facets of, but I won't tell her or him about this particular quirk that they have in this particular relationship because it may end the relationship. But then what does that mean? That means you're not being authentic. Now some people say, well, it's tolerance. But if you look at the stats on relationships and marriages nowadays, the average person gets married three times and the typical marriage lasts about two and a half years. So by us practicing um, keeping these things to ourselves and tolerance, it ends up long-term creating pain. So what we're basically doing is we're sacrificing long-term truth for short-term gain. So we are living in our suboptimal choice. And the suboptimal choice is instant gratification, the relationship works for a time, the honeymoon period, but long-term pain, we eventually break up. So when we learn to be our, our authentic selves, and we love our expression of self, 
It empowers us, but it also allows us to live in situations that are totally conducive to us because we are being authentic and real. So just a quick video here just to kind of give you a little bit of information on authenticity. Express yourself, be yourself, and the people around you that resonate on that frequency will choose to be your true friends because everyone is being honest, open, and true. Have a good day. Stay healthy, happy, whole, and whole being health.